Right, today is Tuesday, July 19th, and it's been, <coughs> compared to yesterday, a uh, much better day. We ended up with uh, some progress. Yesterday, we got rained out and nothing was done in the house. Um, today, inside the mechanical room, you'll see that we have the addition of water softener. The only problem, of course, is that while it's been uh, set in place, here you can see the line to do uh, backwashing, but there is no uh, dry well, no way of being able to actually take the water outside of the house. Um, so that was kind of frustrating. So the water softening is not occurring. The second thing that was kind of frustrating was this line. This line actually goes up to the um, to the sink and uh, it should be for reverse osmosis. There should be a reverse osmosis um, machine uh, here to uh, filter the water so that we've got drinking water and obviously that is not here either. Now that's not due to the fact that there's a deficiency on this side. It's due to the fact that there is no faucet of the kind that we want uh, for upstairs to be found um, in the particular line of materials that uh, uh, were here. Trish has been working in her studio and you can see that she's got some, oh, well-organized materials, so she brought in the other cabinet, and it was in the other corner the last time I saw it. It's moved, and the table has been arranged, but she's actually had to arrange several times in here. Looks like she's going to beat me hands down. But if you look upstairs in the, uh, the ceiling, there is now a hole in the ceiling that was finished previously, and that hole is an uh, indication of a... Um, line that was uh, the the the, the uh, drain from the sink the little sink upstairs was pierced uh, when they were actually trying to install the uh, the line for the osmosis reverse osmosis line um, so that was a little bit of a setback do you have something else to say no we also ended up with a little bit of progress in my office, even though it's hard to tell. I'll be putting the, uh, the my desk together back there in the corner. But down underneath, you can see that box that's sitting on the desk. That is the modem. We have internet that is connected to the house now. And so there's our router that's feeding Wi-Fi. And I've brought over terabyte drive, the white one that you see down there. I haven't got everything hooked up and ready to go, but at least it's functional at this point. So I have internet connection here. Oh, I have to pick up a couple of additional things from outside. You'll also see, and I'll go out uh, and show you this, but uh, there's a scaffolding in place and they've got some of the um, <coughs> additional thermal wall has been uh, placed uh, out there. However, there has been a fair amount of activity in terms of landscaping. Uh, landscaping mainly in the form of driveway. You'll hear Ron's machine working in the background. So that's uh, what's going on. Um, here you can see we've got uh, fine gravel that has been laid down uh, for our driving area. This is beside the garage and it is ready to go as well. So we've got some fine gravel in here ready for the, uh, the siding whenever it comes. Here you can see the scaffolding 
for the back wall and again you can see that there's some landscaping that has been done to actually just le level out the bed that will be used for a septic uh, bed uh, whenever that happens sometime this week I assume and uh, the bed will then be attached to the outpipe of the tank that we're using already <coughs> um, they were able to actually get another layer of or another course start another course uh, two courses actually of the thermal wall uh, up on the back wall here the north wall and uh, tomorrow I assume that means that they'll get to the bathroom windows and so maybe we can get the tiling finished by the end of the week so we can have some showers it'd be nice um, feeling pretty grody when the uh, the weather is as hot as it is today we're running 32 I think last time I looked and the humidity is just absolutely uh, sky high uh, yesterday when it was raining it was 99 I think it's uh, above 60 percent at this point in time so we'll be pushing mid to high 30s I think in terms of humidex um, you can see that the thermal wall has not been placed above the uh, the garage level there but on the other side the front side of the house you'll see that it has so it's outlining the sliding door uh, to the garage or sorry to the uh, great room and uh, we've got a course all the way from, from the front of the door um, so hopefully in the next day or two that will all be finished and siding be placed there as well so inside the garage you can see that thermal wall has been placed in here so this entire wall is done this small little piece here is done but this piece is not and it's still wide open you can see daylight up there whereas we used to have a uh, piece of um, plywood uh, right underneath the sill of the, the actual door right let's get to the landscaping <coughs> so what we've done is taken all the big gravel that was being used to um, allow for parking of vehicles and uh, putting scaffolding up and all that kind of stuff um, that has been removed uh, most of it has moved in this direction uh, so that we're going to be ready to fill in most of this space uh, up to see where you see the yellow wall um, and then there's a, a metal strip so this is the top of the foundation and then you've got the thermal wall above that uh, that will be filled in with topsoil um, topsoil will be taken from these hills that you've got over here <coughs> And then we've taken the gravel and we've moved it so that we can have gravel all the way back to the property line here. The thinking was that we could get additional spaces for parking for those off, uh, odd times when we'll have additional people staying over, but it also gives us an opportunity to turn around so you can back into here so that you can head down the driveway. So what Ron's doing right now is replacing the culvert, moving it down lower than it was before so that we get good drainage from Kathy's side of the driveway into the trail side of the driveway. And so he's working on that at the same time. I think it'll work a lot better. Uh, we've got a pretty good um, angle going down. And then so the question will be, you know, can we get enough <coughs> drainage going in here? To get the uh, the water flowing 
because this is always traditionally in the spring in, in most of the year actually uh, it's quite wet in fact it's not soggy right now but you can tell that it's kind of springy so it's got lots of moisture still in the ground whereas the rest of the ground has started to dry out quite a bit and as a consequence you're seeing that that and that's a consequence of the drainage for not very good drainage that's occurred um, right at this wheel itself. Oh, what do you think? Looks good. Well, that'll be filled in with topsoil again. I think Daryl's gone to get one more load <clears throat> and that'll probably go from where they finished off there to the end of the driveway. Uh, I, I think that he's going to have to fill in some of that space right in front because otherwise we're going to end up with a, a pool there. Well, I, I, it, yeah, it's I mean it slopes. Got, it's also got to be graded down. Yeah, it slopes that, that so way, that right? It goes, so that it knows where to go. I think it's better than it was before because that is now lower than this is yeah. for the most part. But you can you can still feel it, huh? It's still mushy. Well, yeah, springy. Yeah. I would say you, you don't hear water Squishy, sucking. So they got some done. I mean, they've got the two extra rows up. <coughs> but it's not done for the other sliding door for our bedroom. How far they, in the back? They got uh, two courses started. Two pieces on one course, one piece on the next one. And then they've got one course to go before the roof line. So tomorrow, they should be to the bathroom windows, in theory. But they haven't got the wall to the laundry room done yet, in the garage. There's a lot of wires in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 